Yeah, Mary Ellis, the Erie County ledge has yet to approve its $250 million chunk to pay for a new Bills stadium. And before they vote on it in a couple weeks, they ask some lingering questions about everything from personal seat licenses to how the county is going to pay for it. The Erie County Legislature got its first chance to pepper some of the key members who helped build the non-binding deal that's expected to keep the Bills in Orchard Park. One of the first questions for Pagula Sports and Entertainment Vice President Ron Rakuia was if the team ever threatened to leave. No, our full focus from day one was to get a new deal done for a new stadium here in Buffalo. Governor Kathy Hochul and Erie County Executive Mark Polencars have expressed the opposite in the past, and Polencars reaffirmed Thursday. But with a looming September deadline for a deal to be finished, the focus now is on several unfinished items. We still have to enter into a lease, uh, a construction agreement, a community benefits agreement, and the other uh, agreements related to this. Including one for personal seat licenses, or PSLs. Both Poland Cars and Rakuya were asked about this new requirement for the new stadium. If you want to buy season tickets, you'll have to buy them. We recognize our market. We will not price our fans out of it. And I believe at the end of the day, we'll have the lowest PSL prices in the, in the NFL. Rakuya later said a Bills PSL would start around $1,000. Outside of football season, legislator Gene Vinyl asked about other uses for the stadium. Rakuya said the new stadium would see significantly more use, but not just for ticketed or sporting events. What we're going to build with this new stadium is a lot more community space, where the community can gather for special events, occasions, meetings, you know, celebrations. Each of these answers hoping to inform the legislature whether to approve funding for the stadium, especially because, as polling cars indicated, the county will still be paying off the current one after the new stadium is built. We haven't seen any you know, specific dollar figures on what uh, the debt service is going to cost taxpayers over the next 20 or 30 years. If we can reduce that by putting more money down up front, it's absolutely something that we should be doing. Well, something that will certainly be considered and some of those other agreements are to be expected to be distributed to legislators early this summer. So there'll be plenty more discussion going forward in the studio. Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.